to the Gourmet Gambit. Oxton on the menu today. And we're going to make a beautiful hard cider sauce with this. I'm Wes Waldman, let's get started. So as usual, we're going to have a look at our ingredients. Of course, you've got the full list of ingredients near the end of the video. Coarse sea salt, normal kosher salt, cloves, black pepper, caraway seeds, garlic powder, some spring onions, sweet peppers, we got some parsley, ginger, garlic, smoked bacon, green peppercorns, some beef stock or brown stock, we got oyster mushrooms, we got our tagliatelle, a hard cider, this one got 5 degrees of alcohol, and we got our tongue, our roast tongue. We're gonna wash our vegetables first. But we don't uh, wash the mushrooms, if we got some dirt or some sand on there, brush your mushrooms with a little brush, but never wash them in water. And we're also going to clean our tongs, our ox tongs, cold water of course. Now so we're going to take a big pot to cook our ox uh, tongue, call sea salt, cut your garlic in half, the ginger big chunks, the stems of the parsley go in there as well, and we keep the leaves for later on. We're going to put a few spring onions in there as well, the cloves and the ox tongue, and we're going to fill it with water so all the ingredients are under the water level. We're going to get our, our pot quickly to the boiling point, so as soon as it comes to the boiling point, we're going to lower the fire, and we're going to let it boil nice and slowly for one and a half an hour, maybe two hours, depends on the size of the tongue. In the meantime, we're going to chop our parsley, roll it up a bit. Sweet peppers. some hard cider in the bowl. We're going to let our green peppercorns. We're also going to put our caraway seeds in there and we're going to let this soak for at least half an hour and even better the time our ox tongue get cooked. Pour some olive oil in your frying pan, maximum heat. Put in our spring onions and the peppers. I'm going to let this fry for a few minutes. We need to get our onions a little bit light brown. And when you start to uh, smell that nice roasty flavor, we're going to put in the cider with the peppercorns and the caraway. And this smells so good already. We we'll lower the fire a bit. And we're going to let this simmer for three to four minutes. Four minutes later, you put in the rest of the hard cider, and this is going to cool down our sauce so we can easily put in our beef stock to mix it up. We're going to put a little bit more heat on there, and we continue stirring the sauce until the sauce gets a little bit thicker. This only takes a few minutes. If you got liquid beef stock, it might take a little bit longer. Now you see when it comes to the boiling point, it becomes a little bit thicker. And now we're gonna put our sauce on a very low fire. We're only gonna let this simmer for maximum 10 minutes, and then we put it aside. And just before serving, we're gonna warm up the sauce again. So, this is boiling for uh, two hours, and let's have a look if the ox tongue is already well done. So to check out if your tongue is done, it has to go in very easily. So, this is still a little bit stiff on the inside. It's 
so we're gonna leave it another 10 minutes. So when the tongue is well done, it goes straight from the pot into ice cold water. And we're gonna let it cool down for a few minutes. Heat up a, a dry frying pan. We're gonna put some bacon in there. And this is gonna give us a little bit of fat, a little bit of saltiness for the oyster mushrooms. We're not gonna cut them, we're gonna put them in a hole. And we're gonna fry them on maximum heat. Just gonna pour a little bit of pepper on there. And we don't want it to be too well done. We just want to here they are really nicely done. We're gonna peel off the skin. Some parts come up easy, other parts are a little bit more difficult, but mostly it's not a big problem. And now all we have to do is to slice it in nice little bits. It's still quite warm inside, so you can serve it straight away. It's going to warm up a little bit more with the sauce. And then we're going to warm up our sauce, our cider sauce. And the time the sauce warms up, you can cook your pasta or whatever you choose as a side dish. And pour a little bit of green onion on there. So there you got our tagliatelle, parsley, the oyster mushrooms and the bacon. And here you get your lovely ox tongue with our cider sauce. A very nice variation of flavors. So all there's left to say, bon appetit! You see it's, it's not a difficult recipe, it takes a little bit of time, but not that much. The oxton is melting in your mouth, the sweetness of the hard cider sauce, the spiciness of green pepper, the beautiful oyster mushrooms with the bacon, it's just a beautiful burst of different flavors. It is really delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe and see you back soon.